This is a tutorial on tagging music. Okay, let's get right into it. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have two programs. You're going to need Media Human, linked in the description. And all you need to do for this is paste the URL for the songs, and then paste it in here. Uh, copy and paste it, sorry. And then you're able to download it from this. It's literally just an MP3 download. You do get MP3, but an app. It's great. So get this. It's free. And then Tag Scanner, also free. Um, you go on the internet and you click the download button. And then brings you to this page, go for this version, Time64 Portable. So get that. Um, obviously you'll need WinRAR or whatever to extract it, but yada yada yada, who cares? So now that you have both of those things, um, they actually start tagging. Uh, but we're going to go into the description here. And we have the song name, the artist, and the album it comes from. All in the description um, under a topic, basically, is what it's called. Um, so it's this easy way to gain the information you need to tag the songs, uh, as easy as possible. So I have all this information, although the album name is Satin Panther, so I'm going to remember that. Now in Tag Scanner, um, I have all three songs that I'm going to be demonstrating, uh, for this video. Uh, well, I have, I have a few more, but I have three here that I'm going to all tag, and this is the song I was just looking at. So once I've opened up the folder where I have all these songs I want to download, um, I'm going to go into the online tab. And make sure that the service is uh, from FreeDB to MusicBrains. It'll be FreeDB by default, make yours MusicBrains. And now you can type uh, the name of the album. So I know it's uh, Satin Panthers. And now I have it loaded up right here. So this is it. This is the exact album. It's perfect. So now to copy the data over to your local file, you click this button to clear the selection. So it unselects all the songs in the uh, album on the right side. So you select the only one you need, so mine is just this one. I'm going to click the song on my left side, click save. So this downloads the full size cover and all the tagging uh, information, so all the official information about the song. So we've got the year now, the track, the disc, the whatever, the, the uh, ID, the publisher, everything is here, it's perfect. So you're done with a song. That is as easy as it could be for tagging a song, but there are a couple more complicated scenarios. So the next one. I've got as a song here, which is a single. Uh, it's got a very generic name. It's just called Roots. Now, even if I go into the online tab and I type the word Roots, I'm not going to get what exactly I'm looking for because it's just way too much variation. It's too much of a generic name. I'm going to get songs that are not called that, that have the same name, but maybe different, totally different song, albums, whatever. It's going to be a mess. So in this case, do a bit of manual tagging, which is very easy in this case because it's a single. So the first step, to manual tagging is uh, what I recommend is getting a extension called YouTube Screenshot. You can get it for Firefox, you can get it for Chrome, and it adds a little screenshot button to a YouTube video. So I can just click this, and now I've downloaded the thumbnail, uh, or rather this whole page right here. This is a perfect square. This is an album art. So I've got it now. So that's the first step, uh, and I can just click this, and then in my downloads folder I have it right here. Boom. So now it's Got the album art, and I already know the name of the uh, artist is Akisaki, so I just have to type Akisaki right there, and boom, that's it. So it's pretty easy. Um, I also like to uh, add the track and disc to be one one. So this is essentially a perfect tag. I mean, it's it's, it's a single. There's no album for it, um, or at least if there is, it's pretty hard to find on Music Brain. So just do a manual tag. It's way easier, and uh, it's just more efficient, right? So next up is a trickier one. Um, we've got a cover. Um, this is a cover of a Vocaloid song, I believe. Um, so in this case, uh, what I tend to do is I tend to gain... I, I tend to either take the thumbnail or take a screenshot of the video somewhere uh, to use as a thumbnail. So I'm going to... Oh, to use as an album art. So I'm just going to go for uh, the latter option here. So I've got this. So this is just a screenshot I took from the video. I'm going to open up uh, Paint. This is the wrong one. I'm going to open up Paint.net. And I'm just going to throw this in here. Okay, so this is just going for the album art. So the, what I do is I look at the bottom right and I notice the, uh, the lower resolution is 720. So I'm just going to make a new. I call it. I'm making it a 720 by 720. And then I'm going to copy this, paste this in, and uh, make it a bigger, a bit easier. So now I'm just going to Try and get good. This looks pretty good. So this is a pretty interesting picture. I'm gonna save this, 
and I'm going to call it whatever. I just match my keyboard. So this is now the album art in Tag Scanner. I'm just going to hop over to this. I'm going to make this the picture. Uh, but now at this point, we're kind of um, just doing this off rip. Um, to, to just add a feel for what feels right. I'll go into the script and I'll show you that this looks like it might be the album. But keep in mind, it's actually not because this is a cover. So this is the original song. So it would technically be inaccurate if I were to tag this under the original song because it's not really true. This is the uh, original song. I can't put the same tagging on this because it's a cover. So I'm making up something on my own to make it look right. So um, I know the title of the song is Monitoring. Uh, it's obviously in Japanese. So I'm going to add the name here in English just so I know what the song is. And then I just do the same thing as the uh, single. I'm just going to make it disc one, track one, whatever. Um, the album is going to be the same name as the title. And then the artist is going to be the same as here too. It's not official. There's no actual album. This guy didn't make an album, I'm pretty sure, for the song. Though, do research that. Uh, I'll talk about that a little more later. Came out in 2024. You can add the uh, more precise dates if you'd like. And that's it. So, this is good enough, um, considering it's a cover. They're usually pretty tricky. So, that's the general gist. Um, you want to use combination of the online tab uh, for more clear album names and manual tagging which is still pretty easy um but now if you're doing video game music i recommend using a site called cage insider which has basically albums from tons of video games all on here and you can get whatever you want um and i'm gonna do, go ahead and show an example of that so i want a song from persona 4 golden so i'm gonna type persona 4 and i'm gonna get a ton of options here i only really care about ones that are labeled under soundtrack or arrangement because game rips are like, I want to be more authentic, so I can't, I don't really bother with game rips. Usually the official soundtracks will have all the same songs. Like, I'd rather go for this as opposed to this, right? It looks cooler. So that's just, you know, it's that. But I'm going to go to the Persona 4 the Golden original soundtrack, and this is it. I want the song Snowflakes, so I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to download as MP3. And you make sure you right-click it, and you click Save Link As, and then I'm going to pop this in here. And I should have it now. I click refresh boom it's right here so the tagging is already pretty much perfect um that's what cage inside usually does even got the composer down here and the conductor so it's very very well made um but the only thing i would like to change is i would like to add a, what track out of uh however many there are in here uh and also what disc it is exactly out of something so what i mean by that is i see here it's 10 out of 15 it doesn't say that so i like to add that and i know this is disc one so i'm just gonna let that down Pretty much the only thing that KH Insider inside doesn't really do uh, is add those specific information. But aside from that, this is already perfect. I don't even need to go on Music Brains and type something for the Golden Soundtrack. I already have it. It's perfect. So that's great. Um, so there is um, another problem. And some songs on KH Insider, uh, particularly if you have to do with a game rep, are a little bit more tricky because. They won't have a ton of information. So this is a game called Sega Rally Championship, and I want a couple songs from here. So I want My Dear Friend Rally, Desert Replay, and Mountain Replay. So these are the ones I want. So I'm going to just quickly download all these. Um, give me a moment. Boom, boom, boom. There is a, a, a mass download option if you really want every song in an album. All right, cool. I'll click Refresh, and I've got these songs. So look, there's pretty much nothing here. At least I have the songs in the best quality they can be, and uh, with no extensions or whatever. It's got the albums uh, and the genre and stuff, but it's missing the title, which is kind of important. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, cross. Uh, I'm gonna go for the file name here to know what I have to call it. So this is my dear friend. So in this case, I would just have to kind of redo a bit of the information um, as such. So this is track two out of uh, 15 again. So only one one. All right, cool. So if you want to, if you have a lot of songs you download from a Kitch Insider album and you need to repeat this information, what I recommend doing is clicking the track, the disc, or clicking all the things that aren't um, unique and you need to paste across a bunch of songs. So what you can do is you can click this, you can click this, and I'm going to click on Mars 2. And now if I click the save button, 
uh, and again, and again, I have now copied all the information to the other two that didn't have those same spots either. And for this track, which is actually track three, it even updated to be track three automatically. So that's really nice. I can just call this one Desert Replay. Uh, and I'm done. So I don't have to retype in the information every single time for disc and track and album artists and whatever. It's all done for me. Uh, note that this one is uh, actually track five, so I have to change that real quick. And I'm going to call this one, as such, Mountain Replay. Okay. So, and then for the album art, it's a very similar process to um, the, the Vocaloid song I did. Uh, I'm just going to open this up in a program. Uh, I already know that the resolution is pretty good, actually. It's 809 by 800. So I'm probably not going to be picky about it. And I'm just going to throw this into uh, Tag Scanner right now. Um, oh, let me download the image. I don't think I downloaded it yet. Save image. Okay. And then you can click the picture button and then just save three times or however many times you need. And boom, that's... You can download from Cage Insider or not every information might be there, but there'll be enough to fill in the blanks if you need. So that's the gist for Cage Insider. Not every single thing is on Cage Insider. Like I know Sega Music isn't on there, so it's kind of annoying. But most official soundtracks like this, for example, will be on Music Brain, so if you want to tag them through Music Brain, you can always do that. Or you can keep them on Key Agent Insider, it doesn't really matter. Whatever really looks coolest and works for you, I guess. Because sometimes it's different album arts. Um, the last one I'm going to talk about is doing your own research. So, uh, in this case, I want to get the Shining Ball song. Um, the topping of the description is not really true. This is inaccurately depicting this as a cover made by someone else and not the original song, when this very much is the original song. So. Um, in this case, I'm going to have to do some quick research on the, uh, where the song comes from and to get, to get the right tagging for it. So I'm going to quickly go to Media Human. Uh, I'm going to drag this into my folder. Should have done this ahead of time. Uh, okay. So, um, the easiest way to do this is what I do is I go to Google and I type, uh, the name of the song, um, first, um, then I'll type album after it and... I know Google should probably give this to you immediately. Uh, if not, you have to do some research like on fandom wikis and whatnot to find what you need. But I know it's from an album called Dragon Ball Z Hit Song Collection. So all I can, all I have to do is go here and type Dragon Ball Z Hit Song Collection. And I've got it right here. So not every um, uh, album on Music Brains uh, will have album art. So unfortunately, this one does not. So I'm going to have to add that myself manually. Um, oh, crap. I have to read it. That's annoying. Um, quick tip, you can click Escape um, while searching for songs to cancel the search. Pretty useful. Uh, Chala Head Chala. I'm going to click Save. Now I've got all the information I need except for the cover. So this one, I'm just going to... Uh, I can, I can, first of all, I can just go here and save this image. It's kind of low quality. Uh, I don't know if I can maybe get a, a better one. Maybe if I type Dragon Ball Z hit song collection, I can get a slightly higher quality image. Um, this one almost looks good. Uh, can I get a, apparently it's bigger, but it's not actually as high quality. Uh, it's, it's a bit of, it's a bit of trial and error, um, with this. Hit song collection series. No, it's not going to show it. Um, oh, this might though. This might be good. No, it's no, it's just low quality no matter what. So I mean, it's worth a shot, right? Not not, not always going to find a super high quality picture. Three forty two by three forty two. That's the best I'm going to get. Sometimes it's just so old you're not going to get a really good picture for it. But it's worth doing the research for. So I already got it now. Save, and then attack scanner. I could just throw this in. So, and that's the song. Uh, now, note that in the case of this song, there is uh, literally a single for it. Uh, so I'm going to type this and show you the single. So in these instances, you kind of have a choice of uh, what you'd prefer. If you'd rather have the single, you'd rather have the album release. So I kind of like the art for the single more. Uh, I think it looks a lot cooler. So that's generally what my process is. Uh, this is a vinyl technically, but works all the same. Yeah, I think it starts much cooler. So now I've got this, and 
that's the this the same thing really it's the same song but now it's in a different album so now it displays um on my music player in a different way that i prefer over the other album so that's um almost it the only other thing i want to um mention is with audacity so in audacity i can open up uh one of the songs so the vocaloid song i was on uh which one is it is this one so I recommend opening up um, songs you suspect or you already know have a long ending or like an outro, especially for covers. So this is a cover. Look at this, this is like almost 20 seconds of just no sound. So I would just hit delete here on the next word audio and uh, there we go. Okay, um, now keep in mind, I recommend uh, doing the... Uh, doing this process with audacity before you tag the songs because now i've lost a couple of the album information um so i have to reapply some of it uh it didn't take me long in that case but sometimes it can be kind of annoying um but, but yeah now this song is trimmed at the end so it's not going to be a long wait between the next song that plays and uh still got the album information just gotta just slightly redo it okay that's about it that's everything i gotta say hope you enjoyed the video have, leave a like if you uh, enjoyed it, and also uh, let me know any questions you have, and I'll see if I can answer them.